Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also, you need to turn off the water to the refrigerator. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the ice maker assembly in the Samsung refrigerator. It's going to be a very easy repair. Should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For the job, we're going to need a socket wrench with a 10 millimeter head, flat blade screwdriver, and a Phillips screwdriver. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new ice maker assembly. This ice maker assembly is located in the freezer compartment on the top left. It's designed to produce ice cubes on demand. If your ice maker stops making ice, it's time to check it and replace it if needed. To get to the part, we need to open both doors. Let's open the freezer door. Now we need to lift up on the drawer, so we'll release the roller. Put it on the top here and we can pull it out. Then we're going to lift up the drawer and we can remove it. To remove the ice maker, we don't have to take out the freezer door and the drawer out. But uh, if you're a flexible person and you can uh, reach in with both hands, take out the old one and, which is more important, to install the new one using both hands then got speed. But uh, on my experience, it's better to spend more time, take everything out, and do the job properly from the first time. So we're going to take out the freezer door. For that, we need to remove the folding shelf on the freezer door. To remove this adjustable shelf, we're going to grab both of these end brackets and pull it up. Now I'm going to remove the freezer basket. I'm going to lift that the inner end first. I'm going to lift that and pull this basket out. To remove the freezer door, we need to take off these uh, two bolts on this side and uh, two bolts on this side. This is a 10 millimeter bolt, so I'm using a 10 millimeter socket wrench. And we're going to unscrew it, turning it counterclockwise. And now we can lift the freezer door off the hinges. And now we're going to push in the hinges, the rails, so we can get access to the ice maker. We need to remove this cover from the front. I'm going to pry it off with this flat blade screwdriver. And then I'm going to pull it down. So now we need to remove two Phillips screws that are uh, located in these openings. I'm going to use the uh, Phillips screwdriver. Okay. And now we're going to pull forward the ice maker. So we're going to release the, uh, the rear tabs. Now we're going to let it down, and we have a plug here on the top. So I'm going to press that uh, locking tab and disconnect the plug. And now we can remove the ice maker. This is the old ice maker assembly next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from AppliancePartsPros.com. Okay, so this is the new ice maker. Uh, to install it easily, I'm going to remove this harness from the holder temporarily so we can plug in that uh, into this plug on the top. And I'm going to plug it in, turn it around, and I'm going to place this harness under the holder. All right, now I'm gonna place it on. So when we're installing the ice maker, make sure that the, the inlet tube is right in that cutout. I'm gonna 
press it up, push it back, so it will lock on the tabs at the back. So we're going to secure the ice maker here from the front with a couple of Phillips screws. As you can see, this ice maker is slightly different from the old one. So this one doesn't require to put on the cap. So you can see at the bottom of the ice maker is the uh, test button. When you install everything, connect the power, turn on the water, you press this button and hold it for a few seconds, and the ice maker should start working. And now we're going to pull out the rails. And now we're going to install the freezer door back on. I'm going to hang it onto these rails. And I'm slowly going to place it in. The two hooks on the top locks into the cutouts, and then we're going to lock these sides. All right, and now I'm going to secure it with the 10 millimeter bolts. And now we're going to install the freezer basket in. Slide this forward. And we're going to lower down this end goes in. And then place it down. And it's in. Now we're going to install the adjustable shelf. Both end brackets goes in. And I'm going to press it down. Alright, so we can install the drawer in. That's a little tricky, but if you do it the way it's supposed to be done, there will be no problem. So first we're going to slowly place these two sides on the top under the uh, triangular tabs into the rail. And then we're going to let the drawer down and push it in. So it will uh, lock down at the, at the bottom. The, the rollers will go underneath of the rail here. And now we can close the freezer door. And now we can close the doors. Plug the fridge in, open the water, and check if there are any leaks. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other videos available on our site, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram.